what is fallopian tube blockage. Fallopian tube blockage is the commonest cause of infertility. Uh, if tubes are blocked, it means the eggs and the sperm cannot meet because the tubes is the only connection which you have between your uterine cavity and the ovary. The ovary produces eggs and the sperm go through to the uterine cavity into the fallopian tube and meet the sperm there for fertilization to happen. Therefore, fallopian tubes is a very, very important organ for fertilization to happen and even for pregnancy to happen in a natural environment. Therefore, it's very important that we understand the role of the fallopian tubes. Fallopian tubes got many segments. Usually, fertilization happen in the isthmus segment of the fallopian tube. It's got fimbria and many other parts. But this is the narrow part exactly where fertilization happen. And if the tube is blocked, the eggs and the sperm cannot meet. And therefore, you'll have what we call tubal infertility. Tubal factor infertility is the commonest and it occurs when a block, there's a blockage in the fallopian tubes, which is not allowing the egg and the sperm to meet. Tubal factor account for about 25 to 30% of all cases of infertility. Therefore, tubal factor infertility is a very common condition. Fallopian tubes are female reproductive organ that connect the ovaries and the uterus. Conception always happen in the fallopian tube. If the fallopian tube is blocked, the passage for the sperm to get to the eggs, as well as the path to the uterus, is blocked. Therefore, fertilization cannot happen. The eggs and the sperm cannot meet. Therefore, fallopian tubes are the most important part in the reproductive organ of the female, which ensure that the sperm and the egg meet for, firstly for fertilization, and secondly, for them to be transferred into the uterine cavity where implantation will happen. What are the symptoms of a blocked fallopian tubes? Blocked fallopian tubes don't often cause any symptom. Therefore, there's a big chance that a, a woman may be not aware that she is actually having blocked fallopian tube until a certain test is done. Because it cannot present with any pain, it cannot present with any other symptoms unless there is an active infection which is happening at that moment in that tube, something like salpingitis, or if the woman's got what is called hydrosalpings, which is a blockage which is causing the the, the and causing the also the fluid in the uterine cavity. Hydrosalpings, as I said, is a fluid collection in the fallopian tube, which cause the tube to bulge and that may cause symptoms of pain or heaviness. Blocked fallopian tubes are the commonest cause of infertility or difficulty to get pregnant. If both 
tubes are blocked. Pregnancy without treatment, it's highly impossible. Fallopian tube are if are partially blocked. They are also a risk for a condition which we call ectopic pregnancy, which means instead of the pregnancy to implant into uterine cavity, the pregnancy implant in the uterine, in the fallopian tube, which is also dangerous for the life or life-threatening to the woman. What are the causes of blocked fallopian tube? What is it that can cause the tube to be blocked? The commonest cause is pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. The bacteria involved in this infectious condition tend to destroy the inside of the tube. It causes inflammation and scarring and blockage. Inflammation, scarring and blockage. Endometrosis as well, it's one of the chronic conditions we know, which cause chronic inflammation, scarring, and blockage. Certain sexual transmitted infection, chlamydia and gonorrhea, they also cause inflammation inside the tube, scarring, and blockage. Ectopic pregnancy is a result of partially open fallopian tube due to scarring, and inflammation, and in such a way, the cilia, which is the inside of the tube, which has got small finger-like, which propel a fertilized egg to move from the isthmus through the corneal into the uterine cavity, is destroyed. Therefore, the tube now is, uh, the, the fertilized eggs is stuck in the fallopian tube. And that we call ectopic pregnancy. Fibroid can also cause distortion of the fallopian tube, blockage, scarring, and also inflammation, either during the removal of the fibroid or just the fibroid growing just close to the tube and cause blockage and pass abdominal surgery and it can be fibroid can any sorry it can be fibroid removal can be appendix removal and so forth all this can cause inflammation scarring and blockage of the fallopian tubes what test can we do to really find out are the tube patent or not the test which we can do is what you call hysterosalpingogram. Hysterosalpingogram is an X-ray whereby a dye is actually injected from the cervix and then it goes through the uterine cavity and then it can then pass through the both fallopian tubes and spillage into the abdominal cavity. It's what we call HSG. Dilatation and insufflation test as well can be done, which you can monitor with an ultrasound. Saline infusion sonography as well, which also use an ultrasound, where saline is also injected the same way as HSG, but you use the ultrasound to check the patency of the fallopian tube. Hysterosalpingo contrast sonography as well, high cosine in which you use a particular a, 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 a filament or particular dye of certain concentration and use an ultrasound to make sure that you can see that there is a patency of the fallopian tube. Last, laparoscopic uh, chromotubation is also whereby you put the dye through the, the cervix into the uterus and by laparoscopy uh, in the abdomen you can see the dye going through the fallopian tubes. You can see literally the fallopian tube bulging, and then you can see the dye going through the fembria and spillage into the abdomen. Then you can do many other things like phalloscopy as well, fine, right? and so is the salpingography as well. All of them is basically the test which you are testing the patency of 
the fallopian tube. Is there any treatment for tubal infertility? Can I have any treatment if my tubes are blocked? That's the most important question. If your tubes are blocked, it's very important that you see your fertility specialist. Now, the blockage of the fallopian tube, you can have a temporary blockage. In this way, in this sense, I, I mean exactly temporary or non-permanent blockage of the fallopian tube. That can be true to mucus, which commonly when you do HSG, it can easily take that mucus away. Sometimes you can have very small fimbria during that pressure of HSG, then that fimbria, uh, the, those uh, artisans can be removed and the tube can be patent. That we're talking of very, actually, minute part of tubal infertility. Now we have the second, which is actually a total blockage of the tube, which is permanent. That is due to scarring, inflammation, and blockage. Now, coming to this also, you divide your tubes into two. If you've got scarring, inflammation, and blockage with fluid inside the tube, that we call hydrosalpins. There is no surgical method which can open the tube if you have got huge bilateral hydrosalpins. No other test which can open the tube in that situation. They can only confirm, can do HSG, it will confirm that you've got bilateral hydrosalpins and those tubes are literally damaged inside. The fimbria are damaged. You can go in and do a remove the whole tube, which is called salpingectomy. And the reason behind removing a, a tube which is damaged with hydrosalpins is to increase your chances of pregnancy if you're going to do an IVF. If you want to do an IVF with bilateral hydrosalpins, your chances of pregnancy are extremely diminished. Because the chemical or fluid in the, in the fallopian tube, which cause hydrosalpins, tend to, you know, a, a drip into the uterine cavity and actually damage the endometrium. And then that endometrium becomes very foreign for a fertilized embryo or blastocyst to implant. Therefore, it's very important to understand the concept that the removal of a hydrosalpins of your tube is not really to render you infertile. It's rather to increase your chances of pregnancy using an IVF method.